Hey there, it's uh, Trish from Dish Kitty Studio, and it's been a couple of weeks. As usual, I'm always behind, but I have quite a few things I want to show you guys today, so I'm just going to get right into it here. Uh, so here is my um, my daily book here. Let me find where I left off. Okay, I believe I left off right here. Um, Nothing too major here. I made uh, BLTs for dinner, so I just drew all the ingredients. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, this day. Oh, my husband and I went to see uh, The Monster Squad, which is an old movie from like the late 80s. Um, we went to see it at a local theater. It was really fun, so I drew a little cartoony Frankenstein here. Uh, the next night we actually went back to the movies and saw Zootopia, so I drew uh, Judy Hopps' cute little ears here. Uh, it was a really good movie. If you get a chance, definitely see it if you haven't already. Um, this is just my husband and I. We It was a Friday night. We didn't have any plans, so we just hung out at home and watched Netflix. Um, I baked some cookies, and we just kind of snuggled up and watched TV. This is a couple Saturdays ago, and it was a, oh, so disappointing, but it was a snowy day. So I ended up just kind of holing up in my studio, and I painted a pair, can you guys hear my cat? She's really mad about something. Um, I ended up painting a pair of canvas shoes. Um, I'm pretty sure, if you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you should have seen pictures of them, but they turned out pretty cute. I was pretty happy with them. They were kind of like a, a tan colored shoe, and I painted hot pink cats on the front, and I wrote, um, meow on the sides. Um, okay, my husband and I did some spring cleaning that this weekend, this this weekend, and I had to get rid of two pairs of shoes that I absolutely love, and I was pretty heartbroken about it. So I drew a little picture of each. One was a a pair of purple, just kind of like ballet flats, but they have a kitty cat face on the front, and they had whiskers, and they're just so cute. I love them so much. And the other pair is uh, this pair of boots. They're like mm, mid-calf boots probably, but completely covered in shiny iridescent hot pink and white and silver sequins. And they're so cool. They have hot pink laces. They're ugh, prob These are my two favorite pairs of shoes ever and I had to get rid of both. So I was really, really bummed. So of course I had to draw a picture so I'd remember them forever. Um, nothing major here. It was a Monday and I made some muffins. So here's me holding my muffins. What is wrong with my kitty? Can you guys hear her? She's very, very upset about something. Um, this day, it was really weird. My cat, Nemo, not this one, the other one, um, he just, he was drooling. Just randomly, he started drooling. And, you know, we kind of looked online, and he, he's never done that before. We looked online, and um, there's, a, you know, a million things that can cause it from something completely minor to, you know, of course, something horrific that he's going to die from any second. So we ended up calling the vet. We did make an, an appointment for the next day. Um, and so we thought, okay, well, we'll just keep an eye on him and see how he does. Um, it turned out the next, by the next day, he had completely stopped drooling altogether. So we decided, you know, let's just kind of keep an eye on him. And he's been completely fine. This was April 5th, and he's been totally fine ever since. No more drooling. So, I don't know. I guess it was just kind of a fluke. We didn't end up taking him to the vet. So, I don't know. I guess he's probably fine. Um, this uh, was a Wednesday, and I went to the salon, and I got a haircut. And I also got my highlights dyed kind of like a magenta color. So, just drew a picture of me with my new hair and magenta. All right, why did I draw a cupcake? Boy, see, I'm so behind that. Oh, my husband brought me a cupcake on his way home from work. That's it. That was the most exciting thing that happened that day. It was pretty boring, so I drew the cupcake. Um, okay, this day, this was a, actually really cool. Um, I just, I don't know why this didn't dawn on me before, but finally it did. I discovered that you can take an ink cartridge for a fountain pen and refill, like rinse it out, clean it out, air dry it, and then I refilled it w with fresh ink in a different color using a pipette. And then I stuck it in my pen and went about my business. But I'm telling you what, I felt like a sorcerer. I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know, I, I, I can't tell you how many cartridges I've thrown away because I didn't know this was possible, but it, it was amazing. I was really impressed. All right, this was a Saturday, and my husband and I went um, 
up north about an hour to visit uh, with a friend of ours we went and hung out with him for a little while. Um, we went to a couple breweries, White Flame and Brewery Vivant, so I grabbed a coaster and a sticker, drew a picture of the beer, and this is just a little flight sheet I got at, at White Flame, so I just tipped it in here. Uh, this was a Sunday, and this is actually Pepe the King Prawn from The Muppets. My husband and I watched several episodes of The Muppets on Hulu. It's, I, I love it. I sure hope it doesn't get canceled, because I think it's a really great show, but so this is just kind of a word cloud of sort of what we you know, what my day was like, but for the most part it was lounging and hanging around and um, watching the Muppets. All right, this was another pretty standard, boring day for the most part. I did draw this lollipop. My husband bought me over the weekend, actually, um, this gourmet lollipop, and this was raspberry lemon tart. So I kind of did a little watercolor sketch of it, and... Um, it was good. It was pretty good. I think it was Charms, if anyone's interested. Okay, this is a really bad drawing of a pencil sharpener. I actually bought a new pencil sharpener. I have it here. I will show it to you. Um, it's The reason I bought it is because it had really, really good reviews. I have other sharpeners, of course, but this one is adjustable, so you can get a different sized point from your pencil. The thing that intrigued me and the reason I wanted to try it is because I don't know if anyone else uses the Derwent colored pencils but f and they're amazing I love the pencils I have a major problem getting them sharpened though they're like just a couple millimeters bigger than other standard colored pencils so they don't really fit in standard sharpener so I thought well since this one's adjustable maybe this will work. So I ended up buying it. It was only about six bucks, which I didn't think was too bad, and it was prime, so free shipping, and it works like a charm. If anybody needs a really, really good pencil sharpener, I would highly recommend this one. It's called Tagal or something. I think it's from Japan. I don't know, but I'll put the, and it comes in a bunch of different colors too, if you care about that sort of thing, but I'll put the link um, in the, the video description here because I am really impressed with this. It's really great. It even uh, has like a close. You can dial it to close so that this little hole where you stick your pencil in seals off um, so that shavings don't fly out in your bag, which is another huge, huge bonus because that's a, always a big problem. So it's got five, um, five settings and it basically just moves the blade back and forth in here and then it gives you it's always a sharp point it just depends how long you want it but I, I love it I'm really really happy with it if anybody has questions about it hit me up I'm, I'm pretty excited about it uh, nothing serious here I vacuumed so I drew my vacuum big day right uh, okay this was a Thursday I had a terrible headache, so here's me squinting and very unhappy. Um, I had to go to my mom's after uh, work, and I did a little petty for her, so that was fun. I made a frozen pizza for dinner, and then I made s'mores cookies. Ta-da! Okay, this um, this was this last Friday, and some really good friends of ours were in town. Uh, they moved away a few years ago, and they still come back to visit. So they were here in town that night. Um, we all went out for Mexican food, and this is my girlfriend, Lindsay. She got this giant cocktail that was inside a, a whole pineapple, so I drew a little picture um, of Lindsay with her with her giant drink. All right. This is this past Saturday. Uh, my husband and I got up early, grabbed a coffee, and hit the road, and we went to uh, the fairgrounds in town. Uh, had a huge indoor garage sale so we went um, and checked that out I this is a little picture of a fingernail because I well I don't know if you guys you guys can probably see that I got a chance to finally try out the you can see this finger here um, it's very subtle but I got to try out the jamberry nails there was a jamberry consultant there and she um, she did a little sample one for me and gave me a couple of sh um, a couple of little accent nails to try out and practice with and all that kind of stuff but it was fun I've heard a lot about it but I've never gotten to try it so I was excited to finally get a chance um, my husband and I on our way back into town stopped for lunch and got some pho and it was amazing it was a new place that we hadn't tried before and um, it was so, it was good. It was by far my favorite foe that I've had. 
This is a little piece of chocolate because in the afternoon I went to a chocolate tasting party. It was a lot of chocolate, which I'm usually good with, but even for me it was a little much. But it was fun. It was a good time. Uh, in the evening, my nephew and his girlfriend uh, came over, came into town. They live about an hour away, and we had dinner. We went to the Chinese buffet, so I have this little pocket here where I stuck our, these are our fortunes. And then we played a bunch of board games like Yahtzee and stuff like that. So also in this pocket, I have our little score sheet with all of our scores and everything on it. So this is actually just a, um, it's like one of those trading card pockets that you can buy at like a you know, like a comic book store is where I got this. Um, but I would imagine you can probably get them just about anywhere. And then I just stuck some adhesive on the back and then it makes a cute little pocket for little trinkets and stuff like that. So, um, this was this past Sunday. It was a gorgeous, beautiful, sunny day. It was actually really beautiful all weekend long. It was very, very nice because we've had some crap weather. I think this the previous weekend we had snow in fact but it was like in the 80s it was like low 80s it was very very nice so I actually got up and I made some coffee and I went and sat outside on the patio and drank my coffee and it was amazing it was real fun okay that's it for this now I do have a couple other things that I want to show you guys real quickly first of all um here is my adult coloring page that I've been working on. You can see I've done quite a bit more. I've actually done some of the birds now. Um, so it's getting there. I just thought I'd give you a little quick update on that, like my progress and where it's at. You see I still have quite a bit to go. And I've been working on this thing for a couple weeks, but you know, just here and there when I have time, which is not often because, you know, if I have time to draw, it's usually working on that daily book or, you know, doodling or whatever it is. Now this I, uh, I'm pretty excited about. I bought this book at uh, Goodwill. I think I paid 99 cents. Um, it's got a nice, really thick cardboard cover. And it's got this, it says, a mother understands what a child does not say. And then there's this picture which obviously peeks through the front. It's got this gorgeous, creamy, nice, toothy paper. I almost, It feels like watercolor paper, although I'm sure it's not actually watercolor paper, but it's, it's that thick. So, um, and it has this, um, you can see I already sort of like tested out some of my stuff on a corner here. There's no bleed through, no nothing. It's a really nice, heavy, thick paper. So, I believe... Um, I think I told you guys in my last video that I was going to use that other book as my next book because my daily book has about probably about a week's worth of pages left and that's it. So it's going to be done real soon and I think I'm going to use this book instead because I'm excited to get back to a spiral and I just love this paper. So after six months in a regular hardbound book I'm pretty excited to go back to spiral. Uh, something else I want to show you. At that indoor garage sale that we went to, I picked up this old textbook. Um, I'm not sure like what year it's from. I'm going to guess maybe late 70s or early 80s-ish. But it's in really nice condition. And it's got some beautiful little drawings. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this probably it will end up just being a another art journal you know sometime down the road but for a dollar I paid for it I just could not pass it up I I don't know I love the paper and I love all the little drawings and I just think this would be so fun um see look at that there's just so much cool stuff in here. So I definitely am going to use it for something. For right now, it's probably just going to go and, uh, you know, kind of sit on a shelf and wait for me to, you know, be ready for it. Because I do still have this uh, old sewing journal that I, or needlework, that I think I, I know I showed you guys in the video. It was quite a while back. Um, I'm waiting for uh, Courtney to get going on her She's kind of going to do a walkthrough of how she does her art journals, and this is the book I'm going to use when I follow along with her. So this book is actually very similar, so I don't know. This might just be something I just kind of play around and have fun with. But either way, for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up with all the cool illustrations it has in it. That's it for me this week. Um... I hope that you guys are having a great week, and I certainly appreciate you watching. There's my cat again. She wants to say bye. Um, 
I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I hope that you subscribe. I hope you like this video. And um, please definitely follow me on Facebook and Instagram and all that other stuff. Um, if you're interested, I would love to have you. And uh, that's it. Thanks so much.